It's still November 21st, 2018, and I got a question for all you Eagle fans out there. How's that Golden Tate trade working out for you? <laughs> you guys, I made a video on this the other week, like a couple of weeks back, you know, trying to make sense of why. I, I, I tried to understand what was going on in the front office's mind. Why on earth would you give up a third round pick for a 30 year old undersized receiver? Like, I don't get that. I know Golden Tate has had good moments in his career, but he's 30. This is the best that he's ever going to be. And you didn't need him. And you gave away a premium pick for him just to make a splash. Now, I know you're going to get a compensatory pick if he decides to leave and all that other stuff. I get that. But still, you needed so many other things. You needed a running back. I know a lot of you people are sold on Josh Adams. Me personally, if I were an Eagle fan, I wouldn't be sold on him. You needed a running back. You needed some defensive back help. You needed some offensive line help on the depth. You needed some offensive line depth. You know, like you could have even got like a, a decent, you know, like defensive lineman. I mean, there were so many things they could have addressed, yet. They traded a third round pick for Golden Tate, who's 30 years old. And he's he's he doesn't have the height, so he doesn't have like a, a great catch radius. You know, he's just he's a specialist with the ball in his hand. He's a yards after catch type of guy. And I, you know, but still, there were other positions that needed to be addressed. You didn't need to address that. You got Nelson Aguilar. You got Alshon Jeffrey. You got Zach Ertz. You got Corey Clement. You know Corey Clement and and um, and uh, and Golden Tate are fairly comparable, even though they play two different positions. They're fairly complement. I mean, uh, comparable. So I just didn't understand the logic. But now I see they just tried to make a splash. Tried to undercut the Dallas Cowboys like, ha, you gave up a first for Amari Cooper. Look at us. We gave up a third for Golden Tate. And you actually had Eagle fans going around saying that Golden Tate was better than Amari Cooper. <sighs> what kind of dumbass shit is that? Are you kidding me? Amari Cooper is 24. 24. Has already had two 1,000-yard seasons and two Pro Bowls. Under his belt at 24. Golden Tate is 30. Amari Cooper is bigger. Faster. Better route runner. You can plug him at multiple positions on the field. You can't really do that with Golden Tate. And you want to know how? You, why you can't do that? Even the Eagles offensive coordinator, Mike Grow, Even he said today. Well, that was yesterday. He told reporters yesterday. That it is challenging to put Golden Tate to fit him in this offense. Even the offensive coordinator is like, yo, man, this is pretty damn difficult. I don't know where to plug this guy. And, to, and that is cold word for saying, we really didn't need this guy. We, they did not need him. The Eagles did not need Golden Tate. They just wanted to undercut the Dallas Cowboys. The Philadelphia Eagles, they do grimy as shit to undercut their NFC East rivals, especially the Dallas Cowboys. Look what they did in the draft. They traded up and jumped up a spot ahead of the Dallas Cowboys to snag up Dallas Goddard. They knew we needed a tight end. They really didn't need one, but they wasted a second round pick on a tight end just to get at us. There comes a point in time where you're going to have to draft for need and you're going to have to do what's best for you. You can't always try to undercut the opposition. And that's what their philosophy is. They've been bottom feeding for so long. They've been hungry for a Super Bowl for so long that they resorted to undercutting teams in their division and trying to get at them instead of worrying about winning. And it, even after they've won a suit, they finally won a Super Bowl after 57 years, they still have those tactics. They still have those grimy, slimy ass tactics playing spoiler. 
You can't win shit, so you're going to play spoiler. That's what they're used to. And no matter what, they will always have that loser, grimy-ass mentality. That's Eagles. That, that's the Eagles franchise for you. That's, the, that's, that's it. You got a tight end that you didn't need. You wasted a pick on Golden Tate, a player that you didn't need. And a third round pick for Golden Tate was way too high. He's 30 years old and he's demanding money. And you see, I'm not going to try to make sense of the Eagles front office anymore. I'm, I hate that franchise. I hate that front office. I hate everything about them. I'm not going to make sense of, of anything that they do. They do stupid, grimy shit and they're paying for it now. They're paying for it. Even the office of coordinators like, <laughs> I don't know how to fit this guy in the offense, man. How does that look? You know, I have my gripes about Scott Linehan and Jason Garrett. I want them both gone, even if we go to the playoffs. But I don't think Scott Linehan would say, I don't know how we're going to fit Amari Cooper into this offense. If I, He would never say no dumbass shit like that. But you know what? It's not dumb. I take that back. It's not dumb. Mike Roy is just being serious. He's like, listen, I don't know how we're going to fit this guy. This guy, he's not a number one. You know, he's a talented number two who's good at yards after the catch. But to be quite honest, we really didn't need that. We got Nelson Aguilar. We got Corey Clement. Those two can handle that. And Alshon Jeffrey is still the best wide receiver on this team. So to be quite honest, we really didn't need him, and it's pretty difficult to fit him in this offense. We needed other positions, namely running back. You guys, I know some of you don't like when I talk about the Philadelphia Eagles, but it's pertinent to talk about them. You want to know why? Because I don't ever want the Dallas Cowboys to devolve into a franchise like the Philadelphia Eagles. They are so used to losing that they play spoiler. Even, and now they don't even have to do it, and they do it anyway. They got their Super Bowl. You don't need to resort to those loser, grimy-ass tactics by jumping in front of a team and snagging up a tight end that you didn't need or giving away a third-round pick just to make a splash, to make a statement about the Cowboys giving up a first for Amari Cooper. You didn't need to do that, but you did it anyway. These psychological mind games that they try to play. It's like a, an ex-girlfriend who desperately wants to get back with her, with her ex-boyfriend, but she plays these slimy, grimy-ass tactics to get under his skin. That's what the Philadelphia Eagles are. That's what they are. Horrible franchise. I can't stand them. And they're suffering the consequences. They're going to lose on Sunday to the New York Giants. They're going to be tied for, for last place in the division. Huh. You know what? You go from Super Bowl champion to basement dweller in just a few months. Damn shame.